hello, hello, and thank you for tuning on to another episode of our scripture breakdown ministry. My name is David Abraham, and our scripture for today comes from Romans 1, verses 17. And it reads, For in it the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. God's wrath on unrighteousness. I repeat, for it is written, for it, for it, it for in it, sorry, the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. God's wrath on unrighteousness. Now, I want to divide the scripture into three parts. And the first part says, For in it the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith. Now, here it says, the key word here is righteousness of God and faith. Now, but before we go ahead, um, in the last episode, we discussed um, Romans 1 verse 16. We say, for I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation for everyone who believes, for the Jews first and also for the Gentiles. So here it says, for in it, that is, in the ministry of the gospel, it says the righteousness of God is revealed. So preaching the gospel is a revelation. Preaching the gospel is also a way of actually um, renewing our mind. Preaching the gospel is also a way of our renewing our mind, our renewing ourselves, our our um way of shedding the skin of the old man shedding the nature of the old man so when we begin to preach the gospel we we not only hone into the revelation power of god we hone into the righteousness of god so we no more tend towards um, um hypocrisy we all we tend towards the righteousness of god we tend towards the um, perfectionism of the person of God. So he said, for in it, for in it, I repeat, for in it is the righteousness of God. That is, what is the righteousness of God? The righteousness of God is um, leading after the fruit of the Spirit. The righteousness of God is obedience to the to the voice of God, obedience to the word, to the word of God. Now, when we continue to meditate on the word, we continue to read the word then our our old man is um put at the back our old man is shed away like the shedding of of um an old old skin from a reptile so our old man is shed away when we begin to um follow after god and when we begin to um come under the, the doctrines of the righteousness of God. The, the Ten Commandments in the book of Exodus is a way of honing into the righteousness of God. Then living after the teachings of Jesus Christ is a way of honing into the righteousness of God. Then our keeping our system, our body clean and holy is a way of honing into the righteousness of God. So here it says, for the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith. Now here, when, when we speak about, um, before I go ahead, we talk about a revelation, the revelation, so the true righteousness of God, there is a revelation which we get, we tap into that revelational power of God, which helps us in having to, to tap into the deep secret things of the living God. Then it says, from faith to faith, now, when we speak about faith to faith, we speak about spiritual growth. We speak about the ability to 
move from a milk a stage of milk of drinking milk onto eating meat then from a stage of eating meat onto eat chewing bones then i call the last stage cracking bones then the, the, the stage of brokenness complete and total brokenness then also similarly when we move um, from the power of god from power to power we we, we um if we, we are um at a stage of engaging in the warfare spiritual warfare we move from power onto power so from also from faith to faith now the bible um looking at uh, that faith here it says, the bible says that faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen now let me put, let me let me let, let me without um digressing let me put a very simple example which we all know in the book of exodus when the israelites reached the red sea and there was there was um, they, 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 they were between the red sea and and um pharaoh's army who was coming the ferocious army of pharaoh who was coming with all their might and all their strength and all their artillery they were uh, and they were coming um against them and god said what is that in your hand he told moses the deliverer and he said it's a scepter and he said you should strike the scepter on the sea and the sea parted so moses took an act of faith to do that moses took an act of faith to strike the water and the red sea parted so for for um, every child of god we usually take an act of faith in our living with god in our followership of christ we live by faith so we take an act of faith so here it says from faith to faith so from faith to faith here it means from one level of faith to another level of faith now when you take a simple step of faith and simple things are achieved you are emboldened your faith is strengthened to be able to take bolder things and bigger steps more riskier steps sometimes more deadlier steps for the sake of Christ more deadlier steps for the sake of Christ according to the instructions of the person of God so we take our faith according to instructions especially when our faith involves some some level of risk we take according to the instructions of God we just need God just needs a vessel to be able to accomplish um, that level of faith so it is revealed from faith to faith as it is written the just shall live by faith the just shall live by faith now what do we understand by that when you take a step to confess Christ as your personal Lord and Savior automatically you are justified in heaven so when you're justified in heaven God um, that is the first level of justification the first level of endorsement then as you continue to walk and grow in the things of God every day your little little actions have been endorsed have been justified by the person of God have been justified have been justified for for material rewards have been justified for spiritual rewards have been justified for being in the book of life have been justified for ultimate goal of making heaven so every day you take those steps you are referred to from God as a just man so when you take those steps every day according to your purpose you begin to lead in your purpose you begin to live in your purpose you begin to do your purpose you begin to speak your purpose you begin to have passion that continually engages you in the things 
that are related to the fulfillment of your destiny, when you begin to do that in Christ, then God continually justifies you. So here it says, the just shall live by faith. So when God continues, continually justifies you, he's saying that you are expected to live by faith. You are expected to walk by faith. You are expected that everything you do must be by your faith in God. Your going out should be by faith. Your coming in should be by faith. Your every little steps, your speech should be by faith. Your, your actions, your every step-by-step -step actions should be by faith. Your, your um, bold actions should also be by faith. Hence, the just shall live by faith. Now, this is a word, I believe, is from the throne. I speak as a man. It's from the throne room of heaven. He said, the just shall live by faith. So, God endorses you as you continue to exhibit your faith. The book of Hebrews says that without faith is impossible to please God, that he that comes to God must believe that he is, as the first he is, and the second he is, there were two he, he is in, in, the, in that verse, a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So you must believe that God is the all and all. And to believe that, you you um because you believe that you continually take your your steps by faith you call your activities are faith based your engagements are faith based your demeanor is faith based your your endeavors are faith based and because of that god continually endorses you for material rewards god continue, continually endorses you for spiritual rewards god continually engages you in bigger tasks from one task to another from one faith to another from one level of power to another level of power from one level of growth to another level of growth so god continually takes you from one level to another and because you are leaving this little verse these few words that the just shall live by faith the last verse is God's wrath on unrighteousness. So God naturally is expresses his wrath towards unrighteousness. God naturally is not happy with the unrighteous. In the book of Psalms it says God is angry with the wicked every day. So uh, unrighteousness is wickedness. Unrighteousness is not leading after the things of God, not leading after the righteous nature of God, not tending to, there's no willingness, there's no effort, there's no ability to lead towards the righteousness of God, to tend towards the, the nature of God, to tend towards the holiness of God. And therefore, God's wrath is kindled against the unrighteousness, the unrighteous nature of God any person. Now I want to pray that God is able to expound our minds on this word, that God is able to give us more revelational knowledge on this word, that as we begin to walk with it and run with it, that God gives us that grace to be able to hone into his faith, his kind of faith, because we understand that without faith it's impossible to please God and therefore we begin to pray this minute for faith to be able to take actions, faith to be able to take steps, faith to be able to move from one point to another according to the for the according and towards the fulfillment of our God-given destinies. All is I ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. I thank you so much for listening. And God bless, God bless in Jesus' name. Amen, amen.